If you are new to this channel please, please subscribe and don't forget to like and comment. Today's first story, I, M40, a happily married man, have become obsessed with a woman, after having my world turned upside down. Like the title says, I'm a happily married man, but I recently went through a traumatic experience, and have now become obsessed with another woman. Bear with me please as I relay the story. I need to change some of the details to preserve anonymity. My wife and I have been happily married for 20 years. We both love and support each with all our hearts. In all this time, I have never had desire to stray, or ever even had a crush on anyone else. Not even a hint. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for her. We've built our lives together, and are so totally enmeshed with each other. A few months ago I was involved in what would be called a traumatic experience that turned my world upside down. I was in a small plane crash. The pilot and one passenger were killed on impact. The other passenger suffered severe injuries, and I kept her alive, until EMTs arrived using first aid I learned in Boy Scouts. I walked away with cuts and bruises. You might think I would suffer from some sort of PTSD, but it's been completely the opposite. Everything about my worldview is inside out, and upside down. Since then, it's like I went from black and white to color television. I'm seeing things differently. Questioning everything. Questioning myself. Questioning bedrock foundations of what I thought was reality. I don't want to get too spassy, but let's just say it's like I've been reborn, and I'm learning the world again. And, I hate admitting this, because of the loss, suffered by the families of the victims, but for me personally, it's all been overwhelmingly positive. I just have this overwhelmingly positive curiosity. I see my relationships with people and things so differently. I just see so much love, and positivity and connection everywhere. And I can't help, but spread and share this love. It's difficult because of quarantine restrictions, I'm in the US, because I don't get too much interaction with people. My wife has been incredibly supportive and understanding. She understands that I went through a changing experience, but she doesn't understand, and probably can't understand how fundamentally my worldview has been shifted. And I'm slash was fine with that. I still love and adore her. Recently, it was suggested that I attend a survivor support group, so I found one in my area and joined for a Zoom call, or remote due to COVID. Here's where my current issue begins. There were around a dozen folks on the call, and it was a typical share your story kind of event. There was a woman on the call, and I was instantly magnetically attracted to her. She was so stunning, to me, and so serene, and so self-assured. We didn't interact any more than simple greetings, but I can't stop thinking about her. I go to sleep thinking of her. I wake up thinking of her. The best way I can describe it is, if you can remember, being a teenager and find out someone has a crush on you. That's the kind of overwhelming elation I feel towards her. I hung on every word she said. I couldn't take my eyes off her. And to be clear, I don't think it's a SUAL attraction, I just want to be in her presence, where we both can relate and connect on a level that I don't share with anyone else. I'm not going to cheat on my wife, but I'm worried, if I can't get over this obsession, that my relationship will degrade away. And I don't know how to get over this obsession. And that's not fair to my wife. I really don't know what to do. TLDR, I survived a plane crash, and have been reborn. Now I'm obsessed with a woman from my support group that's not my wife and I need to figure out what to do with my life. Fans commented that, Individual trauma therapy instead of group. You're obsessed with this woman as an avoidance tactic, and you're projecting onto her the understanding you don't think you'll get from your wife. And I do think you have PTSD, which is taking the form of a fixation on someone just like you as opposed to the usual stuff. Lemma help IAO had commented. Please seek out therapy, not just support groups. Your shifted worldview is a reaction to a horrible event. Even if it seems like it's all positive, it doesn't seem like you're having a normal time adjusting to life after the accident. 
This other woman represents someone who understands what you experienced, that's why you're having a magnetic attraction to her. But I don't think you actually love her, I think you're seeking out someone who can help you understand and break down what happened to you. To me, this screams that you haven't processed this traumatic event properly. And this overwhelming crush on a stranger is the outcome. Please, look for a therapist that specializes in something relates to PTSD or traumatic events. That's the end of first story, if you guys not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Let's start the second one. She, 31F, always tries to make me, M25, jealous and I'm done with that. It gets to me, and she knows that. But recently when she tries to pull something via text I just ignore. I stop giving her attention, and talk less. I just feel tempted to tell her to go fk herself, and be done with it. I just talk less and watch her trying to pull a convo again normally, and I just don't care. In one occasion, after a few meetups, we met up at a bar, I was like half an hour late than her bc I went via uber, and she likes to go early and just wait there. She lives near, I got there, and for some reason after some talk she started telling me how the people working there started chatting to each other about her, before I got there, and when she went smoking, they got one of the younger guys, to ask for her whatsapp number, and that she said no, and went back to her table. FK kind of story is this. What else? She hung out with her cousin that Ike she genuinely misses. They rarely get to see each other each year and just talk via text. One day at the bar she tells me her cousin's best friend apparently flirted w her, or whatever, she was at the beach w her mom, and her cousin and friend appeared there, and flirted by messing with her, they'd all also hang and travel around, sht makes sense I guess, she's w her cousin she rarely sees. I get that, that friend there too. I couldn't hang with them, because of work. In another moment, she told me at the bar, while telling me about her day w her cousin and randomly mentions again how the same friend flirted with her, when they were all grabbing coffee, and time after, idk when, her cousin gave him her whatsapp number 2, like they spoke about her drama w her cousin, her condition, whatever. She talks a lot, didn't seem to be big of a deal. Ugh though. I hate it. Her cousin also stopped asking her to hang out too so, I assume he just had his own thing, and she didn't like it bc she doesn't see him ever. Understandable. So I assume, that friend was no longer around. I of course, thought out about it, and I'm pretty sure nothing really happened, though I still think of it just a friendship I guess. But I hate that. But she's very social so. Next day when we hung out, and made out in a car, I went home. It was 5am something. Next day she said oh I went home afterwards, my cousin's friend wanted to hang and talk a bit then I went to sleep, I was like, oh hh alright, hope y'all had fun. She replies with I'm jk you doubt your bag lol. I kept telling her that I don't care, and to do whatever, and she tells me, that she just loves the things I say. As if it was a joke. She was telling the truth on that last one, but fky play. She gets jealous easily too, but I don't press her. She's done a lot for me. Put me a priority. Clearly showed me she cared, but seems so insecure too, as if she wants me to fight for her. What is her problem? Now via text it's the same. On Twitter, she makes sure I know a friend of hers is trying something with her, and I get hurt bc it seems like bragging. I wanna stop showing it, but when it happens I just feel like stop talking, and she notices I didn't like it. I think I'm just simply done. What should I do? She likes to see me jealous, but hates when I stop talking to her. Really loses it, when I act up. I think I'm just gonna keep ignoring her, when she starts. But it's weird afterwards, and don't know when to stop this. Really ruins a whole convo. I'm not going to lie though. We've argued many times. And most of it was because of me, but, she always came back, to give me a chance. And she really loses it, I can't even describe it how much. TL slash DR childish adult enjoys making me jealous, 